Take care. <laughs> Anything I until I see you next. Use your tongue, or I will feed it to you. Nothing else? Good to see Vili again. Make sure the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. It's bad, so the brigand must be bad. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. Off looking for a fight? I should have known. Yes, Vili's sword always finds its way into trouble sooner or later. Not a bad way to live. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heminger Jarl is an ox. So he is, and he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the wolf kist to the encampment. Father himself. 
yourself. Woo! Travel fast, willing the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him in a yard. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I will ask the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred the poverty. Your bye! ashore! Protect the convoy! More sail! 
Orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Willy and Hemminger Jarl will be pleased to see you. Eivor the wolf kissed. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. <gasps> the Picts cower. Muster the men for battle. Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Hey, hey, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stoneberg, should any picks escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You are not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts, to feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? 
We can snatch glory together, unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. For all times then. And you alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! May they burn with flame unbridled! The pig chief hides behind his men like a cow. No doubt he will be well fortified. Look for him. I should not be seen in this area. Be careful, you are You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. I love my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me, or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to Himingar Jarl. 
Let us not burden ourselves with the Alding choice yet. that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Really? There you are! Come! Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right, but if I don't faint at the sight of them, you have oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me to fight empty air, Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there. It recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast. I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Avo the pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. Dragon's tail it was then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? <laughs> Stonebur, was Trigvin or sent there by father to help? We must go! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Please! 
you. Oh. Move! Thank you. Move! Get to safety. There are others. Please help them too. Please! Anyone! Save my family! They're in here! Save my wife, please! Not me! My wife! Save her first! Oh, my dear Hilda. Why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Forgive me. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Eivor! Over here! Billy! Where are you? Answer me! We need to clear a path! I will get the man, Eivor! You carry the woman! Father! Hold on to me. I can get you out. Move the Morgan's ball now, aren't you? Draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Willy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It is good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Lily, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Heminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Look, Sunan. Really was right. The Kinder Downfall is beautiful. Now where is he?
Eivor, you found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. Have a look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd used just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us. But that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. For I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Himmingayal is at the edge of death. I will see him before he goes. to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Aphorn. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingayal. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. 
I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty haired boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud. Dreaming of glory. I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter I... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. lost. Who will take his place? Cast about this land, my friend. Drengur, 
Suniba, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingur Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. 